Hello and welcome inside the State Champs studio for another production of State Champs at the State Finals for the 2023-24 school year. My name is Elizabeth Kuhn and these are the highlights of the 2023 MHSAA Lower Peninsula Boys Tennis State Finals. But I just have to begin by thanking our presenting sponsor, Lawrence Technological University. Be curious, make magic. Visit ltu.edu. Let's head to the court for all the highlights. I'm Chris Gorski at Hope College, taking a look at the Division IV Boys Tennis State Finals. We start things off with one singles. University Liggett's Sebastian Courtright came up short in the finals as a sophomore and a junior, looking to break through as a senior, taking on Kabir Rajendra, who won the three singles flight in the Division III State Finals last year. Good action early on between these two. Courtright is able to save the ball through his legs, but that sets up Rajendra with an easy point. Later in the set, Courtright hits a tough shot into the corner. Rajendra chases it down, but that gives Courtright an overhand smash for the point as the Liggett senior took the first set in tiebreaker. Second set, potential match point. Courtright serves, then moves up in the court and finishes with the big forehand winner as the senior finally claims the state title at number one singles. I'm really happy, especially since um, I've made it to the final my sophomore and junior year, and I finally won it, so it's, I'm definitely really happy. It, but it's, it's definitely a battle. It's great to have those matches. Moving on to two singles, we had a good volley here. Teddy Stabler would be forced to work his way forward, giving Charles Kolb a chance to hit the forehand winner on the far side. Stabler would drop the first set and fall behind 5-1 in the second, but the junior wouldn't give up. He hits the backhand winner here. Later, Stabler shows off his arsenal, drawing his opponent forward before hitting a lob shot over the top as the Ann Arbor Green Hills junior battles all the way back to take the two singles championship. It felt like, felt like it was a completely new match and that I, had to, I could change up what I did in the first set and just see how it felt. Uh, it feels good. This is my first year on the team, and it feels good to bring something home. Next up at one dubs, Green Hills looking good with a senior duo, Alex Yi with the serve, and eventually Lucas Knorr with a nice play at the net as Green Hills takes one dubs in straight sets. Going out senior year with the state title, individual as well, it's, it's just amazing. Yeah, it feels amazing, uh, especially seeing all the new guys, like you said, pull through, and then for us to really get their support and get the support from our family that we call Green Hills Tennis. Felt amazing and proud that he got his state, his individual state title too. Moving on to three dubs, Green Hills showing off their depth with freshman William Pierce and sophomore Richard Wu picking up the win 6-4, 6-0. Triumph. Yeah, and then definitely a lot of relief and because of like the stress coming into the tournament and everything. It's a lot of build up throughout the entire season of um, just like working towards this one match and this one tournament. Finally at four dubs, Green Hill senior Sean Pande with a nice serve. That sets up freshman Maxim Rakadenis for the smash. They win 6-2, 6-2. It, it means a lot, you know, personally, like this is something that I've been working for for a long time. And uh, uh, it's, it's, I'm really happy that it kind of, all the hard work is kind of paying off. Yeah, it feels really good to win. Green Hills would also see Charlie Rich take the three singles flight, Murli Pandey take four singles, and Charles Branch and AJ Perro hit would take two doubles as the Griffins take home the Division IV state championship. No one really wants to be that group who sort of doesn't add to it or who ends a streak or who doesn't win one in their time. So it's a pretty special thing that the guys talk about amongst themselves and years later come back and to be able to see your name on a trophy in the school you know something people can never take away so it's a special feeling taking a look at the division three boys tennis state finals we start with number one singles and detroit country days sahith reddy taking on cranbrook kings roads ryan michaels Early on in this one, we see Reddy with the big forehand winner as the junior would take the first set 6-3. Michaels would battle back, hitting a forehand into the corner, setting up an overhand smash as he would take the second set 6-4. Third set, potential match point here. Reddy works his way up to the net where he's able to get the point to take the third set 7-5 as the Country Day Junior wins the one singles flight. 
Moving on to two singles, Cranbrook would pick up a win here with Caden Che taking his match in straight sets. Next up at three singles, good rally here that ends up pulling Jace Bernard up to the net as he gets the point on his way to a 6-3, 6-4 win, giving the Cranes another first place finish. Finishing up the singles competition at four singles, Aman Khan puts a backhand into the corner before hitting a big forehand to the opposite corner for the point. The Cranbrook Jr. takes the match in straight sets. Moving over to doubles competition, Devin Kozel and Jace Konwinski from Forest Hills Eastern picking up the one dubs win 6-3, 6-3, pulling out a few upsets as they take the flight as the number five seed. At two doubles, we head back to Cranbrook as Cole Kirschenbaum and Kenneth Hu take the win in three sets for the Cranes. Next up at three dubs, Ryan Van Dyke and Ben Stevenson pick up another win for Cranbrook as they take the flight 6-1, 6-3. Finally at four dubs, Keitan Swami and Kevin Gua make it six out of the eight flights for Cranbrook. The duo takes the match 6-2, 6-2, and after coming up just short as a team in 2022, the Cranes get back on top as they hoist the Division III Championship trophy. In Grand Rapids for Division II Boys Tennis Finals, Midland Dow was looking for back-to-back -back championships. In one singles, Drew Hackney from Mona Shores took on undefeated Austin King from Dow. King won the first set 6-2, but Hackney clawed his way back here in the second, earning a point to keep him in that championship. But King would go on to win 6-3 in the second and stays undefeated on the year. I mean, I've put in the work during the summer. I mean, it's been a dream of mine for a couple years now, and I finally was able to do it. So I don't know. It's just amazing to have the feeling that I finally won it. I mean, it's an amazing accomplishment. That means that next year I'm going to have a target on my back. Everyone's going to want to be the one to beat me. So I just got to put in the work on the offseason, and then next year I'm going to be ready to go. In two doubles, Aaron Lee would take down Mason Crosby from South Lion East, 6-4 and 6-1. The Chemics also winning in three and four singles to secure a sweep in all four singles flights. They win the Division II Team State Championship over Birmingham Seaholm. It was really great, man. I mean... That was what secured the team championship too, so that makes it even better. And also winning it back to back feels great. I'm Greg Molson in Midland for the Division I Boys Tennis State Finals. Let's start with the one singles final. And for the third straight year, it was Northville's Sachiv Kumar taking on Rochester's Clayton Anderson. And it's Kumar coming out strong again. He takes the first set 6-2, finishing with the ace. Anderson comes to life in the second though, hitting the winner here. He went up three games to love. But Kumar comes charging back. It took him three sets in each of the past two years to beat Anderson, but he'd win it in two sets this year. Kumar finishing it off 6-4 in the second as the Wisconsin commit ends his high school career with his third straight individual state title. He's one of my best friends. I play him every single day. I play practice with him every single week. I play him every state tournament, so I kind of know his game. And he knows mine, so it's kind of a mind battle out there. It means everything. It means everything. Couldn't ask for more. Northville had another state champion at four singles, where sophomore Amog Mavator knocked off Troy's top-seeded Harish Anand, 6-4, 3-6, 6-1, in the team race, Northville and Troy finished tied for second. The rest of the finals were dominated by the defending state champs from Bloomfield Hills, starting at three singles, where sophomore Connor Shalo won his second individual state title, beating Northville's Josh Kim 6-4, 6 love. This year, I, I hadn't had like, not to be a little cocky, but I hadn't had like that close of matches, but this was definitely my closest match all season. And I had, I just had to stay humble and I had to like, not get ahead and be too arrogant. And like, no, this guy's pretty good. He's in the finals. Connor's older brother, Pierce Shayla, won his third straight state title. The junior beating Rochester's Chad Anderson, six love, six two. It's 
It's the best feeling. It's uh, I was trying to train my whole life for the sport, and to win it three straight times, it's uh, it's really fun. You just go from singles to doubles, and then back to singles. Moving to doubles play, the Hawks swept all four finals, starting at one doubles, where Aaron Rose and Merrick Chernet were pushed to a third set by the team from Ann Arbor Huron. But the two seniors then dominated the final set to win 6-3, 3-6, 6-love. Ryan Rose and Michael Dillon repeated as the champs at two doubles, 6-love, six 6-2, six while Keith Lingham and Dominic Pascarella won three doubles, 6-1, six 6-2. Six Finally, at four doubles, it was Ethan Endelman and Asher Langwell winning 7-6, 6-4, Bloomfield Hills winning six of the eight finals, winning its second straight Division I state championship and its fifth in the past nine years. I mean, it's an amazing feeling, obviously. It's uh, just great, and the team has been just fantastic all year long. And it's, there's a lot of expectations from start to finish, but uh, they handled it well. There's a lot of experience there with all the seniors. And just, I, I couldn't be more pleased, actually. Congratulations to all of our state champions. I'm Elizabeth Kuhn. Thanks for watching this edition of State Champs at the State Finals. State Champs at the State Finals is presented by Lawrence Technological University. Be curious, make magic. Visit ltu.edu. State Champs at the State Finals is also brought to you by the Michigan High School Athletic Association, promoting the value and values of educational athletics. The Michigan Army National Guard, a proud sponsor of the MHSAA. The Detroit Athletic Club Foundation Male and Female Athlete of the Year Awards. To see previous winners, go to dacathleteoftheyear.com and the U.S. Navy. Transform your life and become part of something bigger. Learn more about Naval careers at Navy.com.